Hey everyone, so this is a very informal video. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about my channel and what has been going on. Now I haven't been active in a couple of months um, and it was because uh, I had a surgery in January and it was kind of um, difficult to, you know, to grab the um, like the vibe to start creating again um, it's been a very difficult time for me and um, it's my second surgery I had a surgery back in October 2017 and now in January I had another one and it's been it's been very hard um, I was diagnosed with endometriosis and for those of you who don't know what it is it's a woman's condition it's um I really don't know how to explain it well in English but it's kind of like a cancer it won't kill you but it, it spreads in your organs and it can cause a lot of problems Okay guys, sorry, I know there's gonna be like a weird edit thingy going on in the video but I was saying in the video that I didn't know how to explain what endometriosis was but I felt so irresponsible not to explain to you what it is um, so I look for it in the internet in English so I can tell you so I'm gonna explain you what it is I'm sorry, I'm gonna be reading okay, so Endometriosis is an um, often painful disorder in which tissue that normally lines the inside of the your uterus, uterus, utero, the endometrium, grows outside your uterus. Endometriosis most commonly involves your ovaries, fallopian tubes, and the tissue lining your pelvis. Rarely, endometrial, endometrial tissue may spread beyond pelvic organs. With endometriosis displaced endometrial I'm sorry endometrial tissue continues to act as it normally would. It thickens, breaks down and bleeds with each menstrual cycle. Because this displaced tissue has no way to exit your body, it becomes trapped. When endometriosis involves the ovaries, cysts called endometriomas may form. Surrounding tissue can become irritated, eventually developing scar tissue and adhesions. Abnormal bands of fibrous tissue can, that can cause pelvic tissues and organs to stick to each other. Endometriosis can cause pain, sometimes severe, especially during menstrual periods. Fertility problems also may develop. Fortunately, effective treatments are available. So, um, the symptoms are painful periods, pain with intercourse pain with bowel movements or urination, excessive bleeding, infertility, other signs and symptoms, you may experience fatigue, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, or nausea, especially during menstrual periods. One of my, my main problems was that um, one of the, one, of, one piece of endometriosis got stuck in one of the layers. And when you have a C-section, they cut a couple of layers from your skin I think it's like seven layers I don't know it's a couple of layers and one of those pieces got stuck in my abdominal wall and they closed with that over with that um, there and it started to grow and it started to cause pain and the thing with endometriosis is that there's no study that can tell you that you have it you just uh, know for sure when you have a surgery and they look inside you and they see that you have adherations adherencias in Spanish like like uh, the pieces I don't know how to, how to say it but um yeah the thing is that it started growing inside of me and I went to the ER and nobody knew what I had and it wasn't showing up on sonograms or CT scans or any other lab tests that they performed on me and I was suffering 
I had pain most of the time. It was interfering greatly with my life and it got worse during the years. And I've been with this pain for like three years, three, yeah, three years now. And like my first surgery was performed because they thought that um, it was a cyst that I had in my right ovary and they removed everything and I kind of felt better at first but then the pain got back after like three months or two months of surgery and it was so frustrating the most frustrating part was that nobody knew what was going on what you know what was causing the pain because I was perfectly normal and everything was good it was just I had pain in the area and nobody knew and that was uh, awful like my mind was playing me playing games like am I faking this am I uh, is, is, is this not real and I'm just making this up my mind you know it's like I didn't even know what to think but I was suffering I couldn't sleep I couldn't do like regular activities I was mostly in bed and then um, uh, one of the doctors said like well, I'm going to perform a very specific sonogram that can tell me if you have a hernia in that area so they did that and they found that the endometrioma the size of a quarter was growing up in my abdominal wall and it was taking part of my muscle that's why I couldn't bend I couldn't like lift anything heavy and I was in pain all the time I gained a lot of weight because I couldn't exercise or I was mostly like doing nothing because of the pain and in January they removed it and I mean I'm sorry it was, it was I couldn't believe it like when when I got home and when I started you know the recovery process I was like is this really gone like it's been three years I, I went already through a surgery and now like again I was so scared like is it really gone and um, yeah I've been feeling better now um, I still have a little bit of pain in the area but I'm still recovering and um, now I'm going to take physical therapy for it but I still like sometimes I'm afraid because it can't grow back I mean now I'm living my life like trying to live a normal life um, but it's been very hard to keep up with the videos and the art and everything even though art uh, has helped me a lot with this condition and what I'm going through but sometimes I just don't feel like doing anything and I know it's bad because I I'm not that kind of person I I try like really hard to push myself and do do things even if I don't want to because I don't want to you know like get depressed or anything and I know how easy it is for a person to go deep into depression and um, right now I feel good I'm trying to uh, create new things and I'm trying to come up with new ideas um, I'm very um, like consistent with the paintings that I'm doing right now which is with alcohol inks and I really really I'm really loving it uh, and that's why I haven't been creating a lot of YouTube videos but um, I promise you guys that I'm gonna start creating new content because I know how much you love the resin and alcohol inks videos um, yeah so I just wanted to let you know why I haven't been posting and where I've been. Maybe you are suffering from it. Um, I know I was I was diagnosed at the age of 30, 32, 31. But I know I had endometriosis for a long time. Like um, when I was 14, 13, I remember my periods were so painful it was awful like they had to go when i if i was at school they had to go to school and take me because i couldn't walk the pain was so awful that i couldn't do anything i had to be in bed 
um, it got better over the years because um, I started taking um, birth control uh, because my doctor uh, thought it was a good idea because of the hormones. I had a hormonal disorder too, so it helped a lot. But um, it's it's very hard. It is very hard. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the the information in the description box so you um, can uh, learn what it is and. If you do suffer from endometriosis and you already know, um, I'm with you. <laughs> You're not alone. Um, there's a lot of people who have it and keep going with their lives. It has hit me hard because my case is not a normal case. It's a very, very rare case. Uh, but it happened to me. I feel so special. <laughs> anyway um it's difficult from it's you know it's for other persons are more difficult than others and it really affect me like because i know i look normal i everybody look at me and i'm like yeah hey i'm here i am i'm so happy all the time and i'm like yeah but inside like i'm dying because the, the pain is so awful right now i feel good as i said but that was how I felt and people still look at me and I'm and like oh you look fine you don't look sick but I'm sick <laughs> you know um, but yeah so guys anyway I just wanted to let you know that and I know there's a couple of companies that have sent me stuff but I haven't been able to create and I deeply apologize um, but I mean it's just, it hasn't been possible. But right now, I promise you guys, there will be a lot more content coming up. And thank you guys for listening. I wanted to create this video because I really needed to let it out, you know? Like, yeah. Thank you. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.